I don't know if this is true, but I think most of the costumes you design are not designed to be talked about. Oh, you know, a character will enter and they, you, they look like they're wearing their clothes. This one, a lot of them, the people talk about those clothes, that they're the focus of the film. Was, was that like crazy making a responsibility or a lot of fun? It, it was a lot of fun. It wasn't crazy making. Uh, people often ask me, was it a lot of extra pressure? And, you know, I just approached it like we approach every other film with Paul. Paul is in love with clothes, really. I, you, you notice it especially in this film. He lingers over details and things, but even back to Heart Eight, he does some pan up on Gwyneth from sort of reptile boots to shoddy sweater. And Boogie Nights, of course, there's a lot of comments about the bad taste. And he, he and Barry suit, and he, he does a lot with clothing. And so this uh, was extraordinary in its scope, and then, of course, subject matter, and what I was lucky enough to be able to do. But now, there, there's at least one scene, I think it's the wedding dress, where there's a, a group of, of people hand-stitching this. I mean, did those people have to be trained to do this, or did you, did you find people who knew hand-stitching? Um, no, uh, we had background artists in the film as workroom women who special skills were sewing. They were able to sew. And then... Uh, Paul got to know my costume shop seamstresses very well and said, you're all going to be in the movie in this scene where we, where we have to repair the wedding dress. So it's like, there's Debbie and there's Cecile, and, you know. So it was really, really fun. And, and their beautiful work is on film forever, and now they are too. Yeah, yeah. And that, how many costumes did you design for this film? You know, close to 50 between um, Cyril's, all of Cyril's, and then Daniel's, and then what the clients wore to their fittings, and then what they made for the fittings, and then the fashion show. And there are uh, several, there's about a dozen costumes that didn't make the cut. So, uh, and, and they were all beautifully done too, but they just didn't serve the final film so so you so you designed them and they were made but but they were never shown and we screen. filmed it and thought <clears throat> the scenes were great yeah they looked great <laughs> they just i think paul editing it he looked at it wanted to hone down the story and they got the chop <laughs> <laughs> and and what happens to those gowns when the, when the filming is over? They belong to Focus Features. They belong to the studio. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Daniel's contract says that he gets his suits and shoes that were made specially for him, which is perfect. Um, they were made to his dimensions, and they'll always be a lovely reminder of the film, I think. Yeah, 